Consistency is rarely appreciated and the ability to dominate at a high level for an extended period is significant to one's legacy. In battle rap, thousands of MCs have come and gone, with few that make an impression worth wanting to see again. Even fewer are capable of being ticket sellers and regarded as one of the most dangerous battlers in the world. However, K-Shine has held this acclaim since the beginning of his career, and his run during 2013 and 2015 was easily one of the best of all time. Welcome to episode one of the Apex Mountain on Let's Think Battle Rap, K-Shine. Who's talking? Ripping the tool off from headshot, for he drop. Ripping the jewels off from stomach shot, headshot. Right. Niggas is moonwalking. Ah! Battle rap is centered around moments. Brief but powerful and explosive performances that make the room erupt. You know the ones that have you making the jazz face for a good 20 seconds? Well, k had a potential moment of the year for five years running on the climb to his peak. In 2011, he had the iconic angle versus surf in the first round, and in 2012, the Izzy dead kick versus John John. Although these moments are key to showing how Shine evolved as a battler and writer, it's nothing in comparison to 2013 when we saw the mastery that was Professor Shine vs. DNA, which sparked the start of Shine's dominance, launching him in position to take claim at the spot for best battler. Y'all hear me? Now y'all probably wonder why I bring all this to the center stage, because if y'all don't understand a human body, all you gotta do is break down DNA. You ain't got a tough joint connected to your fucking bones. You lost two X, that's why I see bitch when a chromosome. You a sperm cell. <laughs> Throughout 2013, Kayshan gave us a clear win versus DNA, a classic debatable win versus Arsenal, and a loss to Big T in what some would say was one of the most entertaining battles of the year, as well as the best Big T we've ever seen. That's a common theme I also want to point out in this run of Kayshan's, is that due to him being known as such a dangerous opponent, everyone he battled elevated their game because of the consequences they would face if they didn't. He spent this year battling the top MCs on URL and proving that he belonged on the biggest cards in front of the biggest crowds. In 2014, we had the Michael Jackson scheme versus JC that was unforgettable and yet another moment of the year candidate. Kayshine followed this up by putting on a classic battle with Head Ice in an amazing back and forth. The style clash between Ice's OG vibe and Kayshine's attitude and quick tempo made it the perfect match we didn't know we needed. These few years were just the rising action leading up to when I think it was clear Kayshine had truly reached his apex, 2015. Rookies vs Vets helped show the fans that some young guys could hang with the big dogs, and Wavy even pulled a K-Shine on K-Shine by having a moment himself, walking like a zombie with it. But K-Shine won the war and took that battle in a debatable and arguably battle of the night. NWX then revitalized 2 on 2s in a win vs Sayaboy and John John that created a wave of demand for partner battles. A little while later, K-Shine and DNA went on to put on the best 2 on 2 battle of all time vs Hitman Hala and Averb. Gun titles vs NWX isn't a complete battle, don't kill me in the comments. This 2 on 2 was entertaining from the first word until the last and is a certified classic as far as totality of a match is concerned. K-Shine also had body of the year in 2015 against Averb on Gnome 5. You can almost close your eyes, plug your ears, and blindly pick a quotable from the first two rounds. Most battlers are lucky if they even come close to having any bars in their career as room shaking as the handful Shine had in this battle. Nigga, let it spray. I ain't even trying to talk to him. I St. Louis the clip. I mean, I arc through him. Leave his chest blue. Funny stops through him. Hole so big. Fuck around and walk through him. <laughs> Following this insane performance, K Shine goes on to King of the Dot and puts on a show versus Dirtbag Dan in a battle most people have Shine winning. His last individual battle of 2015 was against Dose, and although infamous for the math debacle, Shine came prepared for a war against him as he always does. He gave us the best round of the year on Don't Flop for 2015, and yet another unforgettable moment with the Moonwalk Bar, showing us yet again why he should be feared on any stage in the battle rap culture. 
Keishan ended his 2015 journey to Apex Mountain by destroying opponents with DNA, completely revamping how the culture views 2 on 2 battles. Chess and Steams tried to show they had what it takes to knock off the best team in the game, but they fell short and NWX prevailed once more. In the latter half of 2015, Shine and DNA went on to create the most viewed battle of all time on the Queen of the Ring platform versus Bonnie in 40 bars, taking home another W in the process. K-Shine ends his 2015 with the one and only Sharon slap. In their 2 on 2 battle, Sharon pulls out a fake pistol and gets slapped by K-Shine in a scuffle that totally outshines the battle to this day. NWX's run of 2 on 2 battles brought back the demand for battlers to pair up and showcase their skills as a team in ways we hadn't seen in a long time. They aren't the first, but K-Shine and DNA are definitely the most prominent 2 on 2 team to ever battle. K-Shine had one of the most interesting journeys to the top of battle rap that we've ever seen. He proved that he was arguably the best battler on the planet during this time through quality battles, iconic performances, and unforgettable moments. His consistency is unmatched to this day, and few battlers have been able to rival it. Hopefully K-Shine has received plenty of flowers from his fans and peers in order to fully understand what he means to this culture. Thanks for watching Let's Think Battle Rap on LTBR Podcast.